This is Ece and welcome to another episode of Turk Fortune. In this video, Khan will ask me 18 frequently asked questions about medical malpractice lawsuits after rhinoplasty and I will try to answer them. So let's start. So what is medical malpractice in the context of rhinoplasty? Medical malpractice in rhinoplasty refers to situations where a surgeon's actions or omissions during the procedure deviate from the accepted standard of care, resulting in harm or injury to the patient. Uh, what are common reasons for filing a medical malpractice lawsuit after rhinoplasty? Common reasons for filing a medical malpractice lawsuit after rhinoplasty include breathing difficulties, cosmetic dissatisfaction, infection, nerve damage and perforated septum. However, it is important to keep in mind that every patient is unique. So the fact that you have never heard of a similar case of yours doesn't mean that you do not have a case. What evidence is essential to prove medical malpractice in rhinoplasty cases? Um, essential evidence may include medical records, pre-operative assessments, post-operative notes, photographs, expert opinions, your file kept in the hospital, and documentation of the surgeon's actions during the procedure. Can the satisfaction with cosmetic results alone be grounds for a malpractice lawsuit? This satisfaction with cosmetic results alone may not be sufficient grounds for a malpractice lawsuit. However, if the dissatisfaction is due to the surgeon's negligence, it may be considered as part of a broader claim, since by its nature there is a guaranteed outcome for rhinoplasty surgeries. What is the statute of limitations for filing a malpractice lawsuit after rhinoplasty? Uh, the statute of limitations for medical malpractice lawsuits varies by jurisdiction and specific circumstances. It can range from one to two years uh, from the date of discovering the doctor's error and it may be 5, 10 or 20 years from the incident, depending on its nature. It is crucial to consult experienced malpractice lawyers to accurately assess and define the case. Okay, uh, can I sue a doctor for unsuccessful rhinoplasty? Well, um, an unsuccessful rhinoplasty doesn't automatically constitute medical malpractice. To pursue a lawsuit, you must demonstrate that the doctor's negligence caused the unsuccessful outcome. However, apart from other medical procedures, for plastic surgery lawsuits, uh, the doctor is responsible for the entire damage unless he or she is faultless. Because a rhinoplasty surgery is legally defined as a contract of work, this means that the doctor guaranteed you to obtain a certain result, so the doctor has responsibility for the result in line with the will of the patient. Can I sue for emotional distress after a botched rhinoplasty? Yes, emotional distress caused by a botched rhinoplasty can be a valid claim in a medical malpractice lawsuit if the distress resulted from the surgeon's negligence. What is the first step in filing a medical malpractice lawsuit after rhinoplasty? Uh, the first step is to start collecting your medical records and consulting with an experienced medical malpractice attorney who can evaluate your case and advise you on it. Okay, uh, so what compensation can I seek in a medical malpractice lawsuit after rhinoplasty? Uh, well, Compensation may include medical expenses, lost wages, pain and suffering, emotional distress and the cost of corrective surgeries, among others. It depends on your specific circumstances again, since every patient's case is unique. Interesting. Uh, can I sue if my rhinoplasty resulted in breathing difficulties? Yes, you can sue if the breathing difficulties are a result of the surgeon's negligence or failure to address underlying functional issues. Can I still sue if I sign the consent form before the rhinoplasty? Well, this is a good question. Your attorney must first see your file from the hospital, including the documents that you signed. However, in most cases, signing a consent form doesn't waive your right to sue for medical malpractice if the surgeon's actions were negligent or fell below the expected standard of care. Hmm. So let's say I want to sue the hospital. Can I sue the medical facility where the rhinoplasty was performed? Yes, in most cases you may include the medical facility in your lawsuit if their negligence contributed to the harm you experienced. What are the potential risks of filing a medical malpractice lawsuit after rhinoplasty? Well, uh, 
I can say that rushing through a lawsuit may lead to not being able to collect all the documents that are being kept by the hospital. It is important to think about timing before declaring a legal battle. Aside from that, the potential risks include legal expenses, emotional stress and the uncertainty of the outcome. Can I sue for malpractice if I had a revision rhinoplasty that also went wrong? Yes, you may pursue a medical malpractice lawsuit for both the original rhinoplasty and the subsequent revision if there is evidence of negligence in both procedures. Okay, let's talk about timing. How long does a medical malpractice lawsuit after rhinoplasty typically take? Uh, the duration of a medical malpractice lawsuit varies depending on the complexity of the case, court procedures and the willingness to settle out of court. It can take several months to several years. Again, every patient's case is unique, so it is not possible to give an exact timing that is applicable to all cases. Okay, let me ask about the worst case scenario. Can a family member sue for medical malpractice if the patient died due to the complications from rhinoplasty? Yes, family members may be eligible to file a wrongful death lawsuit for medical malpractice if the patient's death was a result of the surgeon's negligence. However, the legal background is completely different from a regular malpractice lawsuit after a rhinoplasty. Uh, one is based on a contract of work, whereas the other is a representation agreement. Mm -hmm. What are the chances of winning a medical malpractice lawsuit after rhinoplasty? The success of a medical malpractice lawsuit depends on the strength of the evidence and the ability of your attorney to present a compelling case. Unfortunately, this is a relatively newly developing area in Turkey. Uh, what I mean by newly developing is, most of the judges are not familiar with medical terms and conditions. So usually, attorney's talent is tested while simplifying the issue enough for the judges to fully comprehend a complicated medical issue and negligence. Okay, let's say I don't want to file a lawsuit. Can I negotiate a settlement before going to court for a medical malpractice lawsuit after rhinoplasty? Yes, you can go to negotiate a settlement with the defendant before proceeding to trial. Settlements can save time and expenses and lead to a faster resolution. In fact, in most of the plastic surgery cases, it is mandatory to try mediation before filing a lawsuit. So, I believe this was the last frequently asked questions that engaged our attention. However, please feel free to write in the comment section if there are any more topics that you would like us to cover. Thank you for watching Turk Fortune. Please do not forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Until next time, take care.